Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be modeling the famous 57 West building from New York. This is an amazing looking skyscraper courtyard building by Big Architects or Björk Ingels group. It's quite an interesting concept of blending a skyscraper with a courtyard, so I thought I might show you how to model something like this in Revit. But before we get into it, I always had an obsession with the way Björk Ingels pronounces the word courtyard. It's, he has quite a unique way, so I kind of had to make this. I'm, a, I'm an architect. And this is um, my design process. It's a revolution. Courtyard. 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 I'm a whore. Okay, enough of that silliness, so let's get started. But before I start modeling, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make fun little tutorials like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit. I'm going to start with a new conceptual mass. I'll be using a metric mass. And now when it opens up, I'm just going to go to level 1. Here I'm just going to switch from this shaded view just to regular hidden line view. Now I'm just going to create a rectangle here. And first we need to just set the units I, because I prefer working in meters. So I'm just going to switch to meters. UN is the shortcut for project units. And now when you go to select this, you just hit tab. You can see now it allows me to select the whole rectangle. But if I hit tab, it allows me to select just one side and then we can move this dimension line over here. So we can set this distance to 70 meters. Then again, hit tab set this to 140. Now select this, move this dimension line to the center. This will be 30. And now select this one and this will be 60. Okay, now that we have this, I can go into 3D and I can go create form. Now it creates a form like this. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller, kind of like this. And now I can select this line over here, or this point actually. And here for this dimension, I'm going to type in 135 because that's the height of the famous big cord scraper. And there you go. So we have the general shape. Now we need to create the actual courtyard. So again, I'll go back into level one, create another rectangle over here. And if you can't see it, just switch from hidden line to wireframe. Now you can select it. And again, you just hit tab to select this here surface or line. This will be 50 meters from the center. This one will be then at 800. This will be f five meters from here. And this will be at 10 meters. Or no, this will be at, this is at 10 meters, sorry. So 10, and this is then at 20. Okay, so now we have this courtyard. So again, I'm going to go back to 3D view and you can't really see the courtyard. That's why we need to go into wireframe, select this thing, go create form and choose void form. Now we're just going to extend this all the way up finish it and now go back into shaded view. So go back here, shaded or even realistic. And there you go, we have the general shape. Now for the actual terraces that are all the way on this here warped surface, you need to create those by modeling voids. And to do that, first we need to go into level one and go reference plane. You can either use the shortcut RP or just choose here reference plane and create a plane going kind of diagonally over this building and let's name this just big. Doesn't matter, you just need to name this reference plane so you can select it by name later. And then I'm going to create a section that's parallel to our reference plane. I'll just move it out a bit, make sure that it uh, encompasses the whole building. 
and go into this section so here we have the section and now we can go here to set and now we can select by name so our work plane will be the big work plane we chose and now we can create our voids so I'm just going to go here to model line extrusion make sure that draw on work plane is selected and now you need to model your basic terrace so let's model something like this okay now once this is model you just select it go into 3d you select it and you go create void form now this is kind of a slow process because you need to do this pretty much for every single every single void or every single terrace you need to create a new one and of course you need to cut geometry so just go cut geometry cut this with that and there you go that's one terrace done then you can select this void so you just hover over this hole and you hit tab a few times till you can select the actual void then go back to your section and now when you can select this void you can copy it around so just go copy multiple and then you can copy your void around now once you've copied it a few times you need to go back and adjust it because it kinda made irregular holes in your model you'll see it in a minute let's just copy it a few times okay now go back into 3D and as you can see some of these are poking through so you need to come over here and select again this back side and you just need to move it in a bit so it isn't poking all the way through same thing over here and you do pretty much this process for each void and if, I, if anyone knows a more efficient way of doing this please leave it in the comment section below Okay, so there you go, that's how you model the Big Architects 57 West in Revit. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.